Chio had to make an ability timer in Minecraft Bedrock using command blocks with no mods. So this mo this will let you be protected from anything in the world. So you just throw this. You wait a little bit. It kills the item so they don't get it back. Sends a message. Shield ability is active. You are protected from everything except players for one minute straight. And if you just go around, it doesn't kill items. You can have a kill items I'll show you later. And then Yeah, that's just basically what it does. It has this particle effect so the player knows it's active. It makes it cooler too, instead of having it just a timer. Okay, let's uh let's get into the command box. Alright, so if you want to make it a shop, which I recommend, you could do tag at P R equals three, C equals one, add bot ability, um, impulse and conditional needs redstone, and you need chain conditional always active. Execute at at P R equals five, C equals one. So only one player near the g that wants to buy gets the tag ability, gets the item. R equals 5, C equals 1, tech deals bot ability, run structure load, ability shield. These, uh, these two, these three things, and then this one right next to the second one. So as someone's right, like right here, it doesn't destroy the button, it spawns right here. So, oh, wait. And then, you need, I can chain conditional always active, and then this. You need this. So you get your item, you get whatever item you want, and then you get a structure block, you do give that as structure block, you should place it right here, do like one, 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 and then like uh, name it whatever, like active shield, and then place your item in that area, and then save it. And then this is what we're gonna call for that this one so we call for the name of what you saved it as in here so I saved it as active shield so I'm gonna call for active shield simple okay and then repeat unconditional always active execute at, at E type equals iron name equals um ability shield it must have the parentheses these are important if you have spaces in the name of the item as i p articles five c equals one run message at p articles five c equals one tag equals explanation point ability active tag equals explanation point ability timer tag equals bot ability shield ability is active you are protected from everything except players for one minute these are just so, these are like a layer so people can't get a ability no matter what, no matter what they try to do, if they try to exploit it or whatever. Chain conditional always active, execute at, at E, type equals item name equals ability shield as at P, R equals 5, C equals 1, run tag at S, add ability active, so you can know that player is starting the ability so you can call it up here and then chain traditional always active tag a tag equals ability active add ability timer so you have a timer set chain condition always active scoreboard player set tag equals ability active ability timer 60 so you can um have it so every single player that gets the ability has the ability at 60. And then we have the different tags. So if someone already has it and already has that t specific tag, if we have a separate tag, the new player starting the ability will, will get the 60 except. But the players that already have the ability won't have won't set their score back to 60. 
Then their chain conditional always active. Tag at A, take yours ability active, remove ability active. So since we won't need this after this and we don't want them to have any of the perks down here or messages. Chain condition always active. Kill at E type equals item. Name equals ability shield. That's the name of my item. You can name it whatever you want. That doesn't matter. Just make it uh, name it something unique. So it's hard for players to like copy it or whatever. Repeat always active. Scoreboard players remove at A. Scores equals ability timer equals explanation point zero. You need that explanation point so so it doesn't go in the negatives. And ability timer one just add it just removes one uh, removes one score every second and then you need this you need this delay twenty is basically one second in Minecraft time. And this, I just have it at 60, so when the player buys the shield or receives it, they don't instantly use it. The execute at that A, tag its ability timer, run particle, Minecraft totem underscore particle, one up. You don't really need that one, I just have that as a one. Or you might need it. It might be below the ground if you don't have one right next to the second one. Execute at at A. Tactical ability timer. Run kill at E. Equals 10. Type equals explanation point player. Type equals explanation point item. So if you wanted to kill all the items, you just remove the explanation point and then it'll kill all the items. If you want to add a new entity, you could do it. Uh, type equals like zombie, or you could do like name equals whatever. If you want a specific name to be out of the specific name not to be killed, you need to do it between these brackets. And then repeat always active message at a tag your tag equals ability timer scores equals ability timer equals zero your shield ability has ran out this is so the players know when their ability is out and when they can use a new one chain conditional always active tag at a tag equals ability timer scores equals ability timer equals zero remove ability timer um, this is so they can get a new item after their ability runs out. Chain conditional always active. Tag at A. Tag equals ability active. Scores equals ability timer equals zero. Remove ability active. Chain conditional always active. Tag at A. Tag equals bot ability. Scores equals ability timer equals zero. Remove a bot ability. So the reason why we're testing for this score so much so players that already have the ability uh, going down don't lose their ability early because someone already ran out we just gotta make sure that specific player or players lose their ability not someone in like their 50 seconds left and if you want it to be longer and not 60 seconds, just change the 60, and just change the score from 60 to like 120. Doesn't matter, I just have a 60 cent, 60 is one minute. Well, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know of any command block tutorials you want me to make in the future. I will try to do it if it's reasonable.